Okay, for two-point perspective, it's going to be the exact same rule as one-point perspective. You've always got a horizon line. So somewhere in the midsection of your paper, and always go uh, horizontally. Like have your paper horizontal too. Uh, don't go up like this because it just makes it more difficult for you. Um, make your <clears throat> horizon line, and then with two-point perspective, we have two vanishing points. So do a vanishing point right over here, and do a vanishing point right over there. Two vanishing points. That's where everything will disappear. It's like we're standing at the corner of a street, and we're looking in, down two different roads. Always, always start out with a vertical line. I'm going to just start out right here in the middle. I'm going to start above the horizon line and go down below the horizon line, just like that. This will help get you started because you know automatically that you have to take the top of the vertical line to the vanishing point. Now, be sure and draw lightly because we're doing a lot of erasing. So, um, make sure you draw lightly with your pencil. Same thing here. Make sure your ruler always lines up with the vanishing point at the top of the vertical line. And light line going that way. Hopefully you can see that on this video. But you can always go back and darken it in later. Same thing with the bottom. Bottom of the vertical line to the vanishing point. Bottom going to this vanishing point. If you can get that far, then you can carry on the rest of the, the piece as well. Let's make the, the uh, other sides. This is going to be like the corner of your building, your first building. So you did that vertical line. Now you need to make the further left corner. So I'm just going to use the width of my ruler and draw a line like that. Then I'm going to come over this way using the width of my ruler and making sure that I am parallel straight up and down with that first vertical line. And I'm going to draw up and down from those um, receding lines. At this point, we have got our first building. So what we can do now is erase those receding lines and make it be a freestanding one. Just re erase the receding lines from those vertical lines that go to the vanishing points. And then you will have a freestanding building. Now, since this is our horizon line, that's where all the, like, the mountains and everything are going to be in the background. The sun coming up over the horizon, clouds in the sky. The horizon line is where the sky meets the earth. So think of this as the earth, and this is the sky. So what we're going to do now, since this building is in front of our view of the horizon, we're going to erase the horizon line that is behind our building then that creates overlapping our building now overlaps the background so we have foreground and background okay we're now going to draw buildings that are next to this building on either side some going this way to this vanishing point and some going down this street Go into this vanishing point. I'm going to speed up the camera here uh, so it doesn't take so long. Okay, so now you see I've taken this first building and I've just added on buildings. It's like a downtown city scene. And I've added a shorter building here and then I added a taller building. You notice when the taller buildings rise up that you're going to have to, and it's, it's not covered up by another building, that we see this side and this side. On this shorter building, we only see this side, so there's no need to draw any horizon, I mean any receding lines going that way or that way, because we only see this side. But you notice I just drew that one there 
<clears throat> and it automatically created this building. Now this one here, I went up just right next to that one and drew that vertical line, did the receding line that way, receding line that way, then just determine how big I want it to be, and drew this other vertical line. So there's a corner, there's a corner, and right back here is a corner. And then I decided to do another short building right there. Now, I'm gonna draw a street just using that same receding line from the first corner of our first building, and I'm gonna draw back like that. And I've already done that one. So let's make a sidewalk, okay? The sidewalk is gonna be just the same. It goes off into the background. And I'm going to come over this far and also make it go into the background this way too. Now, one important thing to keep in mind is when you're doing the sidewalk slashes, it's very important that you keep it level with the, um, the vanishing point. So for these on this side, you're just gonna keep that lined up and you're gonna move it over, do a slash. Keep it lined up there, move it over, do a slash. Do it again, and as you are going back, you need to start making them smaller and closer together so that they look like they're going away. Because everything appears to get smaller as it goes off into the distance. So I'll just do a few more of these here until they all kind of run into each other. Okay, same thing with these. You'll want to line up on the vanishing line, I mean the vanishing point, and do your sidewalk slashes, going like that, keeping it on the vanishing point and go and just move your ruler going back like that, gradually making them closer and closer the farther back you go. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there. Now let's work on doors and windows. All right, so I'm just gonna do a door right here, making sure that it's parallel because I'm having to do another vertical line, making sure that it's straight and parallel with this first vertical line. And keep in mind, all vertical lines go to the vanishing point. So we're gonna go this way we're gonna stop right there since this is a door on a building. We're gonna make sure that it's parallel. The other side is parallel going like that. Let's make it a double door, shall we? There, it's now a double door because we kept all the vertical lines going parallel and all of the, um, the, par the vertical lines making sure that they go to the um, vanishing point. Now, windows. Let's say that this is one of those glass buildings. All right, so I'm just gonna start by doing vertical lines like this. And they will appear to get smaller as they go into the background too. Doesn't have to be all that detailed. Then you'll do the same to this side, making sure that all these vertical lines 
are parallel with each other. They must be straight with each other. Okay, once you've got your vertical lines, what's going to happen? We're going to do the same thing. We're going to start and make sure that our finger is holding the vanishing point down. And you're just going to go down a little bit and draw that first set of windows. Keeping the, on the vanishing point, you're going to go down a little bit more and draw that there. Go down a little bit more, trying to keep it equal all the way down so that they look like the same size windows. So really all you're doing is keeping the ruler in one place on one side and just scooting it down so you can get those windows because they all, all of these vertical lines are going to the vanishing point. Of course, I'm going to color in these, I'm going to shade in these doors here so they stand out from the windows. And you can always add in other details, but you're also going to do the same side, uh, same thing to this side of the building, making sure that you line it up with these lines over here and then holding down on the, um, the vanishing point side of the ruler. Go down to the next line. And the next one. Until you go all the way down the building. This video should get you a good start on doing two point perspective. Just remember, vanishing points, all vertical lines go to the vanishing point. Use your ruler. That is the most important rule. Use your ruler. Once you have so many buildings, then you can start decorating things in the background, uh, adding signs, and if you, you want to do monsters in the background, or flying dragons flying around mountains, and you could do streets with cars. You could really dress it up any way that you want. Um, I've had some students do the, some of the bigger buildings look like cereal boxes or uh, different animated type figures. You can really just dress it up any way that you want, just as long as you understand the rules of two-point perspective.